Spontaneous speaking video 63. Okay. What's up everyone? So as I said in my latest video, and a lot of you have been hitting me up asking, so how'd the proposal go, etc, etc, etc. Well. Oh, what do I do? What am I, what do you ask me to do? <laughs> oh! <laughs> woo, 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 woo! Yeah, so I, I did it. Hand up, <laughs> so now, Jamila Anderson is officially my fiance. <laughs> And she said that ideally we would be having our wedding this year on the 21st of September. Ooh. Yeah, I thought that you were going to sing it. It's oh. okay. You're probably not in the mood right now. <laughs> but nonetheless, a lot of you have been asking. So yeah, so how, are we, how did I do the proposal, etc., etc., etc. And I will just randomly throw across some of the ideas that I had and the two people behind me will be introduced soon. Um, but pretty much one of the ideas that I actually had was me and Jamila, uh, I've been doing a series on my, uh, not a series, but I've been having a lot of people that have been interviewing on my channel and we're just talking about a lot of different things. And one of the things then was me and Jamila were gonna be like the cherry on top where we would have our Jamzel Ask and Tell um, uh, ironing clothes video, which we're still gonna do. And then after we would have talked about all the clothes that we've ironed, which will make sense when we put out the video, then I'd be like, so now that we've got all these wrinkles out and then I'd post her on camera because Jamila's stipulation was that she did not want anybody to witness it. And I wanted everybody to witness it. So it'd be killing two birds with one stone. And I thought that was genius, but it's kind of hard to get Jamila on camera, that's why she's not really in many of my videos. A lot of you probably think like, dang, this guy has a girlfriend and he's interviewing everybody in the world except for her. But I'm always with her. <laughs> but yeah, so that was, that was my first idea and we didn't really go with that. Um, and I had another idea, you know, I was going to do the traditional, oh, take her out to eat at this place called Schumacher's uh, here in Virginia, Lynchburg. I know, weird city name. Um, but it's like the most expensive fancy <laughs> restaurant here, which I know would have probably tipped it off to her. Um, and then I would have just had the food like arrive with the ring on top of it or something. Bethany would have probably been like recording from a distance or something like that. But that also didn't really go through. So I was just like, okay. And then the last idea that I had was we were going to the escape room because uh, we just finished finals. Um, so who were done Turn with up. school. We were done with the semester and everything, and I, we were all planning an escape room trip. And uh, I was planning to have... <laughs> I was planning to have Jamila and all of us go to the escape room, and the ring, so we would drop off the ring like a day before, or like that morning, and the ring would be the last thing that we'd find, and then I'd pretty much repost her over there. But I knew that Jamila would probably like be all uncomfortable. We got into this whole, it wasn't an argument, but she just continued to reiterate how, so I don't want nobody to be around. <laughs> and so I was just like, okay, we're not doing that idea anymore. So she really cramped my creativity with this because as an wow. FE dominant, <laughs> I, as an FE dominant, I involved people. That's that's my main. She 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 crippled my main superpower. But it's okay because I was still able to. I, I was a little bit, but everything still worked out because. Because you have ring. Because I still was able to use my superpower. Both of them actually. My man's Cameron over here. He's an ENFJ like me. I am. Yes, you are. <laughs> and my daughter. Daughter Bethany is also ISFP, and as you guys know, it's Jamila. And pretty much the yeah. final plot we that we had. Oh, smart. <laughs> there you go, look at that. <laughs> the final plot that we had was Cameron and Bethany here have liked each other for quite some time. <laughs> But they didn't want to admit, or they didn't know how to admit it to each other. And it was very funny because we all four always hang out. And it was kind of like a double date, like all the time, but not really officially double date all the time. 
And so Bethany would talk to me and Jamila about her cam- uh, her feelings for Cameron all the time. We're like, oh. And Cameron would talk to me and Jamila <laughs> about his feelings for Bethany all the time. We're like, oh. Indeed. But they didn't know about each other's feelings. So finally, Jamila was like, oh, yeah. You should tell Bethany how you feel. And Cameron's like, I'm going to do it before the end of the semester. Uh, and so when she told me that, I texted Cameron and I was like, yo, how about you tell Bethany how you feel and ask her out on Tuesday because that's when I'm going to propose to Jamila. And he was like, dude, that's great. You know, yada, yada, yada. Um, we should definitely do that. Um, but I don't want to steal your thunder. What a respectful guy. And I was like, no, 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 it's cool. Like, I am I think that this would be a really great idea. It'd be a good way to throw them off. So the plan that we had was we put together a string of events, like go to the trampoline park. So we, a whole group of us went to the trampoline park. And after that, we went back to the school. We played hide and go seek on the fourth floor of Damas, which was fun because not only was I it, but I found Jamila first. And I pretended to get on one knee and then she was like, nigga. <laughs> 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 and I didn't do it back then. <laughs> so instead, we just went on to try and go find the others. Um, I only found Cameron. Um, and then after that, oh we went. <laughs> after that, we went back to. We went somewhere to hang out, and then we went to Bootleggers, which is a restaurant that we went to. We talked over there until like eleven thirty at night. Cameron dropped us off. And Cameron was dropping us off at the house, and so this is where the juicy part is. In Bethany's mind, (laughs) she knows that I'm about to propose to Jamila after Cameron drops us off. That's why why Cameron's Mm -hmm. still outside in the car. So Bethany's excited for her best friend to get, you know, like, engaged and everything. (laughs) But little does she know that Cameron was about to confess his feelings for her and you know yeah you know, you know. <laughs> and so pretty much in my mind i kind of envisioning sort of like so you know why we're here right oh. and then she's like, yeah you know jimmy was about to get proposed to a yeah. it's like that's right but there's something about to go down over here too you know like, you know what i mean okay. you know what i mean and smooth. then smooth yes it's not, it's smooth. Smooth. And then he tells her how he feels he asks her out all of that and then jamila knew about that but then for jamila uh, so, oh shoot, I think, yeah. So Bethany did not know that Cameron was gonna confess and all of that, but Jamila knew. So for me and Jamila, when we came inside the apartment, I was like, yo, Jay, can you help me throw out the trash? So we go out the front door, cause we always come into the back. And <laughs> and we tried, and I was supposed to throw out the trash and try and run around so that we can spy on Cameron confessing his feelings to Jamila. But then, add to, to Bethany. Me, right. To Bethany. This, 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 right. right. This, yeah. Sorry. It's okay. But you might have to rewind and really get the full story. It's very intricate, but I like complicated stuff. So, right. <laughs> so at this point, Jamila's supposed to be really excited for her friends about to get together in the same way that Bethany's supposed to be really excited for her friends about to be going up in their relationship. And then at that point, that's when, like, as soon as we threw, like, away the trash and everything, then I proposed. Um, And she was like, oh, my gosh. And so me and Cameron had agreed to meet back in here when we had both done what we were supposed to do. (laughs) Yeah. So we agreed to meet back in here when we were done so that when he walks in with Bethany, then they are now a couple and me and Jamila are now engaged. So it's like, hey. You know, we all talk about how it is, and then I was gonna pray over our relationship. She got to it eventually. Yeah. So now that I've said all of that, then Cameron and I'll stop talking, and they can now say their thoughts. First of all, right, you can you can take the spotlight. Okay, go ahead. This is this is important. Where are you going? This is right here. I need oh, to discuss it. Okay. Um. Hi. <laughs> Great to see you. Um. Cam Wow here. Um, so let's discuss let's discuss what exactly happened all right i had every intention of telling that one about about the the emotions and the feelings and such however as soon as we got in the as soon as we were in the car and they walked in she was happy happy great everything was cheerful and then when they came inside she shut down she was just like she was like she was like 
I would ask her a question. <laughs> Beth, is everything okay? There's no. Well, that's not true. Do you want to sleep? No. And I was like, I, and I was like, Beth, is everything okay? Are you sure? And she was like, I don't remember. She got a text. She got a text from her RA. She got a text from her RA. Oh my god. I'm telling my story. You can tell your lies after. <laughs> Then she got a text from our RA who was being a butt, who was ruining the night and asking all kinds of stupid questions and requiring all sort of stupid stuff. She's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Bethany was not in a good headspace. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't want to do something, confess, and then it just ended up being incredibly awkward. So rather than doing that and making it more, <laughs> yeah, it was going to be awkward regardless, but I didn't want it to be incredibly awkward. Right. Of course. So... Instead, we texted Jen, uh, or yeah, she didn't know obviously, but I uh, texted Denzel and I was like, yo, is it cool for us to come back inside? Uh, actually, no. No, I came out the spot to right. make sure it, everything was okay, but then I didn't really know what was going on, so I went back in. And then we had to create like a scheme text right. to send Denzel, and then. <laughs> Which was. I don't even remember. It was something like we but left. But it was genius because I came up with it. Oh, right, gosh. right. I that. I it was pretty smart. Oh, it was pretty no, smart. It was I like said, we we left something. You should text him and say, "Hey, I think you guys left something in the back. Should we come back and drop it off? It looks like it was important, something like that." Right, 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 right. We left something. Do you want us to come back inside? Right. And Denzel was like, "Oh yeah." So we <laughs> <laughs> we come back around. We park and we hop out. And I'm walking in. For some reason, Bethany asked me to go in first. Why did you ask me to go in first? Because I feel like it would be awkward if they weren't actually like waiting for us to come inside. Fair. So I'm the first one to walk inside, and I'm <laughs> I'm mouthing to Denzel as I'm coming in. Yeah, he literally he was literally like this as he was walking in. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> and so we after Bethany walks in, it's just kind of like awkwardly silent because. They don't know what I was saying because they knew what I was supposed to say. And, I, and obviously there was something negative that happened. And then it was just like weird. And so I was like, hey, Jim, Jim, Jamila, did anything happen? Did anybody? And she was like, oh, yeah. And then, she all <laughs> and then and at that point, we all cheered and we all hugged and yada, yada, yada. It was great. It was great. Mm -hmm. Then Denzel pulls me back to his room. He's like, we'll be back in a moment. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was really confused. Yeah, because you asked, so how did it go? Or what was it like, how did you guys do it? And you two were a big part of it. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, I wasn't about to say, oh, yeah, we were about to go spy on you two. Because then you'd be oh, like, right. why were you spying on us? Oh, that would have been, yeah, been, been really just, awkward. Right? Yeah, so I was like, well, I'll tell you after this short break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I took him to the room. Not like that. <laughs> and then, <laughs> similar. Similar. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, we, we, I asked, like, so what the heck happened? Did she say no? I was about to be upset. Why? I thought that you choked Because you're not allowed no. to say no. Yeah. Why would I say no? I didn't say That's no. That's what I was thinking. Why would you say no? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and then he was like, no, I just, I just didn't do it. You know, like, she, she's just in a really bad mood. You know, he's an ENFJ. If he, if he sensed the vibe like that, then all right. Mm -hmm. Like you know, so. or he was a scary were you? I, but I, I really, but I wasn't. Were you not in a bad mood? Because you really, really seemed like it. No, I was just not as flash flood warning. Oh, oh. that's what's going on. Okay, well. Well, we're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was probably half and half. It was probably half of me being scared, half of her being not as chipper as she normally is. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Mm -hmm. So we hang out with Jamila and Denzel for a little while longer, and you know, started talking about the wedding and Denzel, <laughs> my brother. We have the same personality type. That's it. That's it. He that's asked me, Cam Wow, to be. You gonna be okay? You gonna make it? It'll be okay. Don't hug him. He asked me. Wow, you're very to the story of girlfriend. No. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> he just got him. He, asked, no. he just got him. He asked me to be a groomsman. No. Hey! Oh my God. Woo! Oh, honestly, honestly, it's my wedding. <laughs> it's our wedding. Jamila's just coming. So what? that's what it's all about. Cameron almost <laughs> cried, and it made me False. very happy. False. Exactly. He I did not almost cry. He did. He absolutely almost did. He almost. 
That was one of the reasons we had to leave. I didn't almost. <laughs> I did not almost tear up. I did. Sure? I almost almost teared up. <laughs> There's a degree of separation there. That's not true. really. Yeah. Not really. Like I didn't like. I wasn't like. It was just more like a. If I thought about it too long. Right. Like I got to turn around. Like I couldn't. I, I, I didn't I want people exactly to see. Like, so, so, <laughs> that's why I didn't lay it on that heavy. You know, I was just like I just. Let I know, you and I that's why I didn't hug I you. It. You couldn't hug me in that moment. That I was know, not a good I look. I, was, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to strip away your masculinity Thank that you. much. I just wanted to acknowledge it. I appreciate so you felt it. A little uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. I yeah. <laughs> Did you already say that there? Y'all two are together now. Ugh. Oh no. He just went over the part where he cried. We didn't get. Oh, first of all, right. again, never <laughs> cried. Oh right, right, right. So then after that. I took Bethany back home to her dorm, and I pulled up in front of her dorm, and she was like, eh, do we have to go inside right now? I hate my RA. I hope she's not watching. I hope she's watching. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, Damn. Then we, then, uh, so we go up to another part of campus, where it's like a, <laughs> it's like a, it's up on a hill, and it overlooks the whole entirety of the, of the city, really. Aww. And, oh, I love this part. Yeah. Uh, so, it wasn't really as <laughs> no, <laughs> We're good at doing that. <laughs> so we go up there and we park and we and we park and we're just talking, shooting the breeze, talking about whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. And so I was like, mind you, I'm not good at this kind of stuff. So I'm like, yo, oh. <laughs> Beth, I gotta tell you something, and I don't know how to tell you, but what? Well, that was you, and I don't know how to tell you. So I'm gonna just tell you, and then you can talk afterwards. But I gotta get you something first. So I got out the car, I go to the back, I grab nine roses from oh, the back. God. Then I bring it back, and yo, when I tell you I was smooth as I, butter. No, it wasn't. It was, it was, but it was, I can't believe it's not. So, <laughs> so then it wasn't. So you said, it wasn't. It was I said it's smooth as butter. It, but it yeah, smooth wasn't. As butter. It's an no, 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 analogy. It's an analogy. Exactly. It's an analogy. But I can't I was it's like butter. butter. That's it's a simile. Butter. It's a translogical It's a translogical thing. thing. Right. Yeah. So not butter. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I bring out the nine roses. <laughs> so I bring out the roses. So I bring out the roses and I'm like, hey. Now, mind you, I'm dying inside. Like, it's, it's incredibly <laughs> uncomfortable. But I just figured somebody's got to do this, so I'm going to do it. So I'm like, hey, Beth. Oh, my God. You know that I miss you. I want to get with okay. you. Okay. <laughs> I was like, in so many words, I really liked you. I've right. liked you for a long time now. Specifically, about nine weeks ago was when I first realized that I did. See, these two specifically had been pestering me. Like, <laughs> Who's your crush? Do you have a crush? Do you have a crush? Crush, 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 crush. crush. Two. Those two, yeah, not DZ. And I was like, nah, nah, nah. And then finally, nine weeks ago, I finally admitted to them that I did. Not who it was, but that I did. When I admitted that I did, I knew who it was. It was her. And so I got her nine roses signifying, you know, it's for every week and blah, blah, blah. So as I'm telling her this, I was like, I really liked you and I think you're a great person. <laughs> and I, I just, yeah, go for it. Okay. So he was like, whatever, whatever, whatever. I can, I can switch. Them. Yeah. Oh, like switch with Denzel. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is entertaining. So then. <laughs> and be no, fair. No, you didn't be give fair. me, okay. you didn't give me the roses yet. You were still talking. Oh, fine. Right. I just wasn't looking. So, um. Anyways, a freaking LUPD pulls up to the car and was like, with the light, while he's pouring out his wow. soul. I'm burying my soul, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, wow. license is registration. <laughs> then, wow. No, but I mean, he's just like, hey, are you guys students here? And we're like, yeah, yeah. He's like, can I get your IDs? And we're like, okay. So we give him the ID, and he's like, all right, I'll be back. And takes our ID, but yeah, exactly. Takes the ID to the, his car, whatever. And so he wasn't looking at me. He's like, wow, this is terrible. And I was cracking up because it was so I'm stupid. dying. <laughs> and she's over there on the other side of the car on the floor. <laughs> like on the floor laughing. Like literally, I was, it he was, was not pouring funny. out his now, soul. <laughs> now it's funny. But in the moment, it was the worst thing ever. <laughs> no, it was still funny. God. Alright, go ahead. Because finish. that was so random. But anyways, I just want to tell that part because that was hilarious. Okay, so he comes up and he's like, hey yo, what's up? 
And I'm he like, it's, I'm like, sir, He's I, lying. and I'm yeah, like, sir, I'm a young, happened. educated black man. I don't want to get shot. He's so dramatic. Hands that up, is don't not shoot. what happened. He went to the car and whatever. And then he was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to finish what I was saying. And I was like, all right, do what you got to do, son. So then he gets the roses or whatever, gets the roses and explains that. The man comes back with the, with the IDs or whatever. And he's like, okay, well, you know, um... I don't care if you guys are like off campus or on campus. There's still a curfew, so you know you guys what? can't be here. And we're like, okay, racist. Then. Okay. okay. I <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. So then we were driving around, and while well, he was bearing his soul still, so you can keep that song that happened. Wow. Yeah, that's I pretty much. So I didn't know how to stop. I didn't know how to park so anymore because, like, I figured if I stopped doing something. That everything was gonna like explode. So like I just kept driving. We literally drove around Lynchburg. Yeah. Like we just drove around yeah. town, making huge And then we stopped circles. at a Kroger. Wow. Yeah, we stopped at a Kroger parking lot, and I was like, "Well, he was still talking." I was still talking. We were, I'm just this rambling. Is like a four, 45 minute drive. By wow. the way. <laughs> I was just rambling, and Bethany wasn't saying words. No. And well, I, I didn't. How the relationships go? Well, I don't know, but <laughs> that's why I kept that. talking. <laughs> I didn't know how to not, I didn't know oh I didn't want God. her to not say anything so to fill the silence I had to keep <laughs> I know that oh. and so finally once we got to Kroger oh and I parked gosh. that park signified my parking of my mouth and <laughs> they and I was like okay now it's your turn to start saying things right in which you said I don't remember actually because wow. I feel like I didn't. Okay, what did, what did I say? Kim? She said, and I quote. I feel like this is gonna be incorrect. She Just said, and I go, okay, excuse me. <laughs> she said, yeah, I like you too, <laughs> and I've liked you for a long time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, not, I feel like I didn't say that last part. <laughs> I really feel like I didn't say that last. You part. said it. You said it. You can't take it back. I really you feel like it. I didn't. That. It's logged <laughs> and it's locked. You cannot take that back. I feel like I didn't say that. Absolutely 100%. Yeah, but it, but what? Absolutely 100%. 100%. Absolutely 100%. Something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, then we talked then we talked more and then we tried to we, we're both incredibly awkward mm-hmm. about As you get emotional right. things. Right. So, we talked through the awkwardness. Then we drove back. Right. Uh, well, we talked about some other things, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, uh, neither here nor there. Then we drove back. Oh, wow. Then we drove back to her dorm to drop her off, and still we're just talking about nothingness. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, very much. Yeah, that was pretty much it. The beautiful. Well, I guess you're the last one to speak, Jamila. So, how did oh. you feel about this whole situation? Oh, well, speaking of awkward and uncomfortable situations, this was actually proposed by a dumpster. <laughs> it was, it was not a by a dumpster. There was a lot of errors. There the, was. Yeah, because we were really supposed to come around right. the park. But it was to symbolize the He's, trash. He, he, he BS this afterwards. That's not true. <laughs> I already knew. It was to symbolize. You know how people jump the broom? We were throwing out the trash to symbolize all of the trash that we were leaving behind in our mm-hmm. relationship to this new level wow. of engagement. Wow. Yeah. That's yes. brilliant. Thank you. No, that's brilliant. Thank you. That's brilliant. Thank you. That's brilliant. <laughs> Please so, don't. Yeah, you can go ahead and keep on telling people about the dump, but only this, the only the really right. transological well, thing. Yeah, no. The woke. The, the wokeness. Woke no. they because as you transition from the old phase into this right. new phase of life, it's it's almost like <sighs> it's like it's like the change, it's like the transformation of oh of a lobster. God. That's right. That's it's right. the transformation of of a Southern California lobster. That's right. And when it gets to that year in late November, that mm-hmm. time of year where it's it's time to molt. That's right. And basically, Denzel was saying, yes, he needed to molt his old self, his old walk of life, their old relationship for something new, something stronger, something Renewed. more beautiful. Renew the shell of the lobster. Wow. Wow. So you asked her out in a parking lot of Kroger, and he proposed to be back. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There was symbolism behind that too. Absolutely. Behind what? I thought you. Nothing. Nothing. Look, we're NI users. 
and I ox users. And I know y'all are not users too, but it's it's secondary no, for us. So it'll it'll come like to us. Symbol. Absolutely. We don't Absolutely. we don't always know the symbolism. Y'all right go around really. shopping no. for BS. No. <laughs> stop, stop. That's exactly. What <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Let me explain the Kroger. <laughs> So what I, okay. the reason I the reason I, I decided to do it at a Kroger mm. is because what does Kroger represent? What does it represent? What You're is asking, Kroger? He's asking himself. Kroger. No, 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 no. <laughs> what does it represent? Kroger Kroger is a grocery store. Absolutely. Kroger is a grocery store. That's mm-hmm. right. Kroger is a place where friends go, where families go mm. in order to find sustenance. Mm. What can man live <laughs> what? without? Whoa. What? What can man not live without? Bread. Wow. Bread. Wow. <laughs> Bread is life. I wanted to take her to the place that symbolized sustenance. And Bethany is my bread. Wow. Failure. Failure. Wow. Wow. You're my y'all are bread. great fiancés and girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is the bread of life. It doesn't say Jesus is the what? The bread of life. Jesus is the what? The bread of life. The bread of life. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) That doesn't mean anything. That literally means nothing at all. Anyways. Oh my god. Yes. Well, Jamila, she said that she actually did not know that night. Like, or she had an idea. Well, yeah. So I guess your piece is the last piece, and then we can. Oh, <laughs> like if I was surprised or not. Yeah, pretty much how you felt oh. about everything. Because we know you were pretty much paranoid about the engagement for a while. Yeah. So, <laughs> Dizella and I have known each other for five years. <laughs> Stop talking like that. <laughs> Dizella and I have known each other for about five years. And we've been dating for over three years. And for the past year and a half... <clears throat> I've just been waiting for him to propose to me. And ever since he got the ring in November, I've been like, okay, so every time he sneezes or goes to tie his shoe or goes to pick up a dollar from on the street, I'm like, he's gonna do it. Or anytime we go out to eat or St. Patrick's Day or Valentine's Day or Yarmulke. I mean, what's the what is the holiday? Kwanzaa. Yes. No, the other one, the Jewish one. Hanukkah. Yes. Anything. I'm like, okay, this is a great chance. Yarmulke. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that an instrument? It's the hat. No, it's the hat. It's the hat. It's oh yeah. Jewish, Jewish head cover. Jewish. Right, right, right. Close. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So I was like, okay, there's a chance. I just, I have to always be prepared. I think about everything. I can't turn my mind off. And so, yeah, and then, you know, I unfortunately, I just, I can't help but put clues together. And so I put clues together and I'm like, he's probably gonna do it on Tuesday. And, um. Shout out to Bethany for taking her out to get her nails done. Oh yeah, Bethany took me out to get my nails done. And, um, so yes, I was like, he's probably going to do it on Tuesday. And with the escape room thingy, one of the options was a jewelry heist. So I was like, hmm, that'd be cool if he did a jewelry heist thing. She'd be expecting it. Right. So, um, so then we got back to the house. And like they said, I already knew about them. And so, and it was like 12 o'clock. All I was focused on was going in the house checking to see if I got mail or something going to the bathroom and going to sleep and saying congrats Bethany you're great um but then we went to take out the trash and then he was like oh Jamila you're great and then he got down on one knee and I was like oh yeah it's about to happen and uh then I said yes and then that's what happened so all in essence, this is pretty much how we have knit together. And I guess I don't usually do this, but I'm going to pray over our relationship and over all the relationships out there. All right.
ass. <laughs> no, but seriously, no, I, I really will do that. Just, you know. Mm-hmm. Do it. Yeah. So, Heavenly Father God, um, first of all, I just want to thank you for this great friendship that you've instilled between all four of us. Uh, Father, I want to thank you for even the opportunity to be able to know you. Um, Father, I want to thank you for um, allowing us to be able to just have the joy and even getting through the semester, God. Um, and thank you for things going successfully, um, even if they didn't go <laughs> according, to plan. according to our plan, <laughs> right, you know, right, God. Right. But you knew what you were doing, you he know, like, does. we trust you and everything, you know, all work together in the end. Um, and Father, right now, we just pray over not only our relationships, our engagements, our future, um, our futures together, but even the relationships out there and the future relationships out there for the people who are watching, God. Um, I pray that you'll allow the people to meet uh, the right times and that you give them the type of patience and perseverance that they need to be able to get through. Um, if they're in bad relationships, may you break them from that. Um, and God, I pray for our relationships here, God, that you will just continue to guide us both. Uh, you'll guide our, both of our relationships um, accordingly. Um, Father, I pray that you'll give uh, Cameron and I really good head so that we can lead properly um, going forth. Uh, may all of our decisions be wise ones, God, and just spirit-led. Um, and Father, I pray that you'll allow us to just have a lot of simpatico between us. Um, and as we go into planning even like the wedding and everything, God, may you just continue to be behind all of that. Father, thank you once again for just everything that you do for us. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Done.